During this time, with a flurry of AI text-to-image releases, Ideogram joins the party with their new 3.0. Ideogram has been known for quite a while as a quality text-to-image generator. Even more so, its ability to actually put text in images, which is an area where many of the other platforms have struggled. Of course, this is a week where Rev and of course ChatGPT have really been making a big splash. ChatGPT has 4.0, Rev releasing its update, doing a great job, and they both do a really good job with text also. So we're going to have a head-to-head -head comparison here to test out Ideogram, give it its due because it has done a great job, and see if it holds up against the others. So I'll start off with some very simple prompts to see how Ideogram and the other two do with that text. All of these prompts will direct the AI to put text somewhere, and each prompt will get a little more tougher each time. And we'll compare all three of the platforms, see which one does a better job. So we start off with a blue dog with a green hat with the word yellow stitched on the hat. Let's see how each of them do. All right, here we start with Ideogram, and yeah, that's really good. It's uh, a dog. Is it a blue dog? I don't know. Maybe a sad dog or a blues dog is how it's interpreted. That's pretty good, and it is stitched, and the word yellow on the green hat. Well, that's correct. And here's another one, another version, and as you can see, we get in tight. We can see that, yeah, that's nicely stitched on that hat. And then here, well, it's actually a blue dog, so we have some actual variety and the opportunity to select what type of a photo. This is what I was thinking, but as always, you know, I didn't necessarily say a photo. Now, I had to say photo for ChatGPT because it did give me a very basic dog. So we'll see if it follows through the next time. So we had to give uh, ChatGPT a little bit more of a push to go in the right direction, but I have not seen the second result. I did take a peek at the first one, and that's why I reprompt it. Let's look at Reeve. Okay, very good. Now this is right on. We said blue dog. The other uh, ideogram did not give me a blue dog. So here we have a blue dog and stitched in the green hat. And here we go again, another blue dog with yellow. So Rev is doing a really good job and has been doing an excellent job at following all of the directions. And Ideogram did a great job. It, it was very nice, but it didn't follow the so much the blue direction when it was a real dog. So let's see what uh, ChatGPT does. Well, looky there. So we have a blue dog with a yellow hat here. So uh, very, very good. I, I think uh, I think they've all done a pretty good job here. Um, Ideogram gave me the the opportunity with the uh, cartoon dog, but it didn't give me the real blue dog. That that's yeah, that's that's a black and brown dog. So let's try a different prompt. So here we go with a little bit harder, maybe a lot harder, with a math professor who has written this on. It's his chalkboard. I didn't say he or she, but we'll see. And there are some symbols in here that may not be translated well, but let's see what happens with each of these. This actually could be pretty tough. All right. Let's assume X equals R. Is that what we said? Let's assume, okay, well, explore the X to affinity here. Let's see here. Um, so Ideogram doesn't do it exact, but you know, not too bad considering how complex it was. Let's see. Let's see how Rev does. Oh, look at that. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, I can't tell you how long it's actually taken for ChatGPT to render this image, but I've refreshed a number of times. I, I've been sitting here a while and it's just, and it's just going nowhere. So I'm going to give Chat GPT a fail just for 
the amount of time it is taking. The others rendered long, long ago. So let's move on in the in the name of hey, <laughs> let's let's get this video done. Now I didn't read through and compare directly with what I had created here. Uh, you can go back and forth, and maybe I will later once the video is published. But you know we can see how accurate it actually is. However, I'll say Ideogram and definitely Rev did a pretty darn good job. All right, I'm going to really push the limits here. Create a billboard over a busy highway promoting happiness. You decide what it says. I don't know. Will this actually work? I've not done it quite like this before. Let's see. And ChatGPT has still not finished this one, but we'll give him another shot. Okay, happiness is a choice. Make it today. Okay, I don't see a busy highway here with ideogram. That's the first one. Next one, happiness is simple. Enjoy the little things. I like it. I like it, but there's there's no busy highway here promoting happiness. I mean, maybe... All right, well, now we got the highway promoting happiness. It's not a busy highway. Hmm. I, I'm not, I'm not sure, sure about this one. There's one more. Happiness starts here. Embrace the joy. So it, it did create some really nice uh, billboards. And, and honestly, that's a good use of ideogram. To, if you have some sort of sign, um, a design, you, you, you can use ideogram with design. They have some tools that will help you with that. There are some really good uses for ideogram. So... We're just kind of pushing the limits here. Rev. And, and there we go again. Smile. It looks good on you. I love it. And there's a busy highway. You, you got to love Rev. It just has been such a, a, a joy over the last week or so as we've been playing with it. Um, Ideogram has more tools, I think, overall for the designer. But this has been great. Today is a gift. And again, busy highway. Now, do you see the problem? Do you see what is about to happen in just a fraction of a second? Um, maybe you might have noticed that these cars are about to hit each other. That That's a problem, but uh, hey, it's, it's doing a pretty good job here. And here we go. Yes. And choose choose happiness. Okay. With a smile, yellow, and a busy highway. Um, again... We have an issue here if you want to take a look. One, there are a lot of people with the same car coming at us. And then there is a truck that's going to cause a problem in a fraction of a second. But I'm not going to get too picky here on this situation because I'm happy to see the highway. I'm happy to see a busy highway. And I'm happy to see that there is a positive sign, a billboard that I requested. Ideogram does have a lot of tools and you can always head on over to the canvas, which has a number of tools here that you can explore. Probably worth a video on our part. But I think for the most part, you have a lot of options with size and shape. You have your magic prompt and styles here and colors. So if you want to work with a specific color palette, that is very helpful. And, and I think, you know, sometimes you can, you can create, well, you can create your own custom palette, but if you wanted this custom palette and then add it to the prompt, you're, you'll be able to stick with, say, corporate colors and so forth. So like I said, the, the Ideogram platform has certainly been a really good uh, platform for designers. It does a great job in text. It was ahead of the curve long ago. So now it has some competitions, but... As we often say, quite often these uh, platforms have their own specialty characteristics because you couldn't necessarily very easily or in a simple way add a color palette to, say, uh, ChatGPT. You probably could, but as you start asking for more and more things, it's going to get tougher and tougher. The one that really handles the prompts, the long prompts, is Rev. That, that certainly, other than the car crash about to happen, it's really good at the long prompts. So what do you think? Do you use Ideogram? Do you like any of the new platforms that were just released this week? What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you want to hear more about Creative AI, don't forget to tune into the show every Monday here on YouTube, as well as 
your favorite podcast station where we are two creative guys talking AI.